Hey y'all, so it's Chi here. In this video, I will be trying out um, press-ons with Gorilla Glue. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so I'm just showing y'all the different press-ons that I bought. I'm trying to choose. I love Kiss. The first ones were um, LA Colors. I think those were really pretty, really pretty. And then that's the Gorilla Glue that I'm going to be trying out. <sighs> so I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the Kiss Acrylic Nude. And I really like the coffin shape. So what we're going to be doing, y'all, is trying it out. And I'm going to see, like, if Gorilla Glue is better than the nail glue that usually comes with the press-ons and if y'all don't know i've been wearing press-ons for maybe about eight or nine months now since yeah about eight or nine months now and um i switched over just to be just to save money basically and um money and time because the nail shops take a long time but i've always had to reapply nails that pop off when i use the glue that comes with it so i actually saw our nail armin she's on youtube I, I actually saw her use gorilla glue first and then i'm going to try it out so right here i am just measuring out each of the nails you know doing the regular press on process making sure that they fit Okay, so I have all the nails that fit. I actually recommend going down a size when you're putting on your press-ons. I don't know, it's just me. Um, I've already buffed my nails, and now I'm just going over them with alcohol and a cotton pad because it's better when you start off with dry, clean nails. To me, they stay longer. So I'm just showing y'all that my nails are clean and filed down and stuff. I actually just soaked off my acrylics. Um, I took a trip to the nail shop for Valentine's Day, and it had been my first time going in a long time. It was so funny. My nail tech was like, see you next year when I got done. But, yeah, I soaked them off, and now it's time for this new experiment. Okay, so here comes the big part. We're going to try this Gorilla Glue. Wish me luck, y'all. So with the Gorilla Glue, I'm going to add, like, a really small amount to only the nail now when i usually use regular nail glue i would add a small amount to both my nail and the press on nail but for this since i feel like the gorilla glue is a little bit stronger then i'm being kind of careful even though i actually read i don't know if it's true but i read that super glue and nail glue um both have the same exact ingredients i don't know if that's true or not Okay, so once I put the glue on the nail, I just um, placed the nail on my finger nail and I held it down for about 10 seconds each. Right here, I realized that I forgot to push back my cuticles. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to push back my cuticles on all 10, well, all nine fingers because I already put a nail on my pinky. So don't forget this step, ladies. So this is how they turned out, y'all. I really like them. I actually like them with no color on them and this little natural nude state. And I actually really like the shape, too, the coffin shape. It's like I don't even have to touch the shape at all. So Kiss did a really good job with these nails. So I chose to go with this um, light blue from L.A. Colors. It was actually purchased at Walmart for like a dollar and some change, I believe. So I actually forgot that I had these nails like stashed away. I still have like a little nail collection. But out of the nails that I showed y'all, tell me which ones were your favorite. So this is how the nails turned out, y'all. I think they are so fat. But um, if you guys want to find out how the Gorilla Glue held up and if it did any damage to my nails, then turn on your post notifications for my channel. Subscribe to my channel if you have not. And I promise you guys that I will keep y'all updated. My next video will be an update on this Gorilla Glue. So stay tuned. Thank you. Love you.